Welcome to an epic conflict between two manufacturing behemoths that hold the secret to dominating the world economy. Mexico is in one corner, a dynamic country renowned for its vibrant cities, rich culture, and tradition of superior manufacturing. And in the opposite corner lies China. The formidable dragon of the East is well known for its astounding technical breakthroughs, enormous population, and unmatched manufacturing capabilities. However, this conflict goes well beyond the scope of purely numerical and statistical data. It's a battle of philosophies, differing industrial methods, and the different routes these two countries have traveled to get where they are now. Will Mexico have the advantage to defeat the dragon due to its proximity to the United States and favorable trade agreements? Or will China's extensive manufacturing sector, technical advancements, and sheer size help it gain an insurmountable advantage? In this video, we will begin with a little background knowledge on the manufacturing prowess of both nations. Next, we will have a rundown of the trade networks Mexico and China have established with other countries. Then, we will discuss the technological capabilities of both power nations. We will look at the working conditions of the labor force in both countries and the social impact of their manufacturing sectors. Lastly, we will approach the conclusion with notable examples of Mexico and China. Before we move on, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay current on the latest economic insights across the world. The manufacturing sector in Mexico has a long, illustrious history. After implementing economic reforms in the 1980s, Mexico started along the path of liberalization and globalization, luring foreign capital and promoting industrial growth. The North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, which went into force in 1994, significantly boosted Mexico's growth by enabling commerce with America and Canada. Manufacturing firms wishing to construct production facilities close to their main customer base had a competitive edge. This advantage was thanks to the nation's advantageous geographic location abutting the lucrative U.S. market. Likewise, China emerged as a manufacturing titan in the late 1970s by implementing economic reforms and market-oriented policies. China drew foreign investment by utilizing its enormous labor force, notably from multinational firms looking for low-cost production methods. The nation's government prioritized infrastructure development, building a vast transit system and industrial parks to help the manufacturing industry. China's ability to attain economies of scale, low production costs, and a adaptable production capabilities made it a global manufacturing powerhouse. NAFTA went into effect in 1994 and was subsequently succeeded by the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, USMCA. Due to these accords, Mexico now has privileged access to the sizable North American market. This access provides it a competitive advantage over other countries that produce goods. China, on the other hand, has tried to develop trade ties on a worldwide level. Through its Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, it has established itself as a major force in global trade. With the BRI, China will be connected to numerous areas in Asia, Europe, Africa, and the Middle East, fostering trade and investment. By improving market access to nations along the route and forming strategic alliances with crucial trading states, the BRI has opened up new prospects for Chinese manufacturers. Although opening up their markets has been a top priority for Mexico and China, their trade relations are very different. About 80% of Mexico's exports go to its northern neighbor, the United States, which dominates its trade. Conversely, China has expanded its export markets, reaching all corners of the world and becoming the biggest exporter in history. Automation and artificial intelligence have seen significant investment from the Middle Kingdom. The nation has tapped into the power of robotics and modern manufacturing technologies to increase productivity and efficiency. Chinese firms can increase production rates and cut costs by implementing automated assembly lines, robotic arms, and quality control systems. China has a considerable edge in mass production and economies of scale 
due to its emphasis on automation. On the other hand, Mexico has chosen a different strategy, focusing on high-value-added industries and innovation. Mexican industries have quickly embraced advanced technologies like the Internet of Things (IoT), cloud computing, and data analytics. Thanks to these techniques, they may streamline operations, better supply chain management, and increase product customization. In the struggle for supremacy in the manufacturing sector, innovation is essential. China has established itself as a global leader in industries like electric vehicles, renewable energy, and telecoms. The Chinese government has offered significant funding and incentives to encourage research and development R &D, in these critical industries. China wants to solidify its position as a technological titan in manufacturing by promoting an innovation-oriented culture. Mexico has concentrated on promoting innovation through government, business, and academics association. To encourage R&D and technical developments, numerous innovation centers and research facilities have been set up throughout the nation. Mexican firms are actively developing modern technologies in industries like aircraft, automotive, and medical equipment. Over the years, labor conditions in Mexico have significantly improved. Workers have the legal right to unionize and engage in collective bargaining, among other protections. The nation has implemented labor reforms to strengthen workers' rights and advance fair treatment. An improved labor market results from minimum wage hikes and tighter occupational health and safety laws. In both nations, manufacturing has a significant social impact, particularly in areas with a high concentration of manufacturing operations. The industry has been crucial in Mexico in lowering poverty and creating employment possibilities. Yet concerns like wealth inequality and worker exploitation continue, despite efforts to solve them through social programs and inclusive legislation. The fast economic expansion of China's manufacturing industry has helped millions of people escape poverty. Furthermore, it has given rise to chances for urbanization. Nevertheless, the nation has come under fire for environmental deterioration and a lack of proper worker safeguards. Migrant workers and the huku system have also brought on socioeconomic disparities. The government has taken action to solve these challenges by implementing labor reforms, salary increases, and promoting social welfare programs. The auto sector in Mexico is one outstanding example of success. Major manufacturers like General Motors, Ford, and Volkswagen have been drawn to Mexico throughout time, creating a strong manufacturing presence. The strategic geographic location of Mexico is one of the main factors influencing its success. Mexico, located close to the United States, provides simple access to the biggest consumer market in the world. Just-in-time delivery is made possible by this proximity, which lowers transportation costs. This factor is essential in the automobile sector, where supply chain effectiveness is critical. Furthermore, Mexico's low production costs have been a significant factor in luring automakers. For enterprises looking for cost-effective production without sacrificing quality, the nation offers cost benefits in labor, utilities, and raw materials. Mexico's skilled labor force is another factor in the country's success in the automobile sector. The nation has made considerable technical education and vocational training expenditures, guaranteeing an industry with a pool of highly educated personnel. The availability of trained labor has greatly influenced Mexico's capacity to achieve the high requirements of the automobile business. China's impressive accomplishments in the electronics sector serve as an example of its manufacturing success story. Chinese firms like Huawei, Xiaomi, and Lenovo have dominated the domestic market. They have also become well-known internationally for producing high-quality smartphones, laptops, and other electronic gadgets. Several essential reasons have contributed to China's rise to industrial dominance in the electronics industry. First, the nation has prioritized research and development, promoting an innovative culture and technical progress. Chinese businesses have made significant investments in cutting-edge technologies. These have enabled them to produce high-quality, feature-rich products that appeal to consumers worldwide. Second, 
China has created a robust environment for its supply chain. A broad network of suppliers supports the nation's manufacturing capabilities, facilitating seamless integration and effective production procedures. China's competitiveness and cost effectiveness have considerably benefited from this integrated supply chain model and economies of scale. China has also taken the initiative to develop talent and a competent workforce. The government has given science, technology, engineering, and math education top priority, resulting in a steady flow of highly qualified workers. Due to this concentration on human capital development, Chinese businesses have been able to sustain innovation and push technological advancements. The sleeping giant's capacity to adjust to changing market trends is another factor in its success in electronics. The nation has shown adaptability in seeing changing customer wants and promptly modifying its production capacity to satisfy them. Chinese manufacturers have proven adept at staying on the cutting edge of developing trends. Whether it is the move toward 5G technology, artificial intelligence, or other emerging technologies. China and Mexico are driven by their rivalry to pursue competitive advantages through innovation and efficiency. It is clear from a careful analysis of their advantages and disadvantages that every country occupies a specific place within the global manufacturing landscape. Looking ahead, some variables will affect how manufacturing develops around the world. Automation, robots, and artificial intelligence are transforming manufacturing processes, and technological improvements will continue to play a significant part. Mexico and China must make the necessary adjustments and investments to stay competitive. Additionally, trade policy and geopolitical trends will impact the world of manufacturing. Changes in trade agreements, tariffs, and market access can considerably affect the competitive positions of China and Mexico. For these nations, it will be essential to closely monitor the development of trade ties and actively participate in creating international trade policy.